One fucking million, baby! <laughs> Woohoo! Hell yeah! Okay, sorry. Woo! Got that out of my system. All right, so what the fuck is this video gonna be about? I don't have any creative or exciting program to tell you about, so face reveal? No, no, not today, my friends. I'm just gonna be answering some questions for you, and I say I'm doing this for you, but it's really for me, because I just wanna stop being asked the same fucking questions all the time. These are kind of the gist of the questions that I'm gonna be answering. There'll be timestamps in the description if I can be bothered, so if not, good luck finding them. Also, I'm gonna shout out a bunch of channels, which I think deserve some more attention, um, and I'll just pretty much generally do what the fuck I want. So here we go. Code bullet, Q and A. No, we are not doing that. No, I said no. F All right, question time. How did you learn to code? I, I went to university. I don't have any secrets with that. I just went to university. So yeah, no, great, great fucking question, mate. Gold fucking star. All right, here's a better question. What is the best way to learn coding? Is it better to read books about it or is it better to learn through the internet? Um, uh, I like how this guy assumes that I, A, read regularly, and B, read books about programming. So yeah, obviously my answer is the internet. The internet allows you to be able to do programming yourself and it's just better and it's cheaper and it's free. As for the best place to learn to code for free on the internet, I would say Code Academy. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just really great. Whenever I need to learn a new language, I check them out. They've got all your shit. They've got the interactive shit. It's just good. It's just good. You can check them out. All right, next question. How should I get started with making AI and how can I make it interesting for people watching? Okay, so the first part of that is probably the most popular question I will ever have or will ever receive. It probably deserves its own video, but fuck that. Um, so the good news is I learned to code AIs for free and on the internet. So if you're interested, you can do it right now with no monies at all. But basically, I did exactly what you guys are doing. I watched a YouTube video where somebody who can do AIing is explaining how they learn to do AI. So wait, here's the video I learned from and I basically just did that. You can check that out, link in the description, but if you can't be bothered, I'll give you a quick rundown. So first of all, you're gonna need a decent amount out of coding experience. So if you don't know how to code, see previous question. But the main thing which taught me most of what I know is MIT's online lectures on YouTube. The guy which teaches it, very engaging for a uni lecturer. And he demonstrates all the AIs with examples which is programmed himself. Um, yeah, it's, it's good shit. And it teaches you everything from like Minimax, which I used in my chess video, to neural networks and uh, genetic algorithms. It's just, it's just got all the shit. The only thing it doesn't actually do is teach you how to code them yourself. It's just kind of the overarching theory behind it. So once you understand the theory and it's time to implement it, you're gonna want to head over to see my man, Dan Schiffman at the Coding Train. So if you don't know, the Coding Train is where you go if you want help on pretty much everything coding related. He does heaps of tutorials on pretty much anything you can think of, which includes AIing. He's got like 50 videos just on explaining AIs and neural networks, and he walks you through a coded example, and it's just, it's good shit. Just check him out, just check him out. He would also probably be an answer for the previous question on how to get into coding, uh, but I kind of forgot about it. Just look into it, you'll you'll enjoy yourself. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my journey, I guess. Apart from that, just once you start doing projects and AIs and stuff, you'll figure it out. Okay, next question. What was the worst video you ever had to make? I mean, this, this question's kind of weird because it implies that I have to do, like, like I'm forced into doing certain videos when it couldn't be further from the truth. Let's rephrase this question into which video turned out the worst for me. Um, and I think that has to be not turned out the worst, but just took way too long was, what is it? AI learns to play Pong one. Yeah. The AI Let's Play Pong one was, holy fuck, that took way too long. I thought it was, I know I said it in the video, but I, I actually thought it would take me like three hours and it took me like three days and I was just angry and it didn't turn out well. And I was just, I actually gave up at that point. Um, and just, I don't know, if, if you watch the video, you know what happened, but yeah, holy fuck. I hated that video because I was just like, yeah, I'll just pump it out. Get, you know, because I was just, I just finished like uni exams. So I was like, okay, we're going to need to get back on the horse. Going to get, get ready, pump out some videos. I'll just do this in a day. I'll be able to code it. I'll be able to edit it. I'll be able to smash it out. But nope, nope. Took me three days and I was very depressed after that and angry. Um, so yeah, that was probably my least favorite video. Bam, next question. What are you planning on doing after uni? Um, basically, I got no fucking idea. I'm going to be a free man for once in my life. I don't know, I might do some traveling. I might just fully commit to Code Bullet. I will definitely keep doing Code Bullet though. Um, so don't worry about that. Don't assume that I'm going anywhere. I am not. Uh, this is going way too well for me to give up on it right now. And especially um, once I have time to fully commit to it. I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out then is my plan basically. I just have to get through uni first. Um, this is my last year of university. So after this year in like November of this year, I will be a free man and I'm sure I'll do like an update video um, explaining what the fuck I've got planned. But for now, it's not a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I might do traveling. I might stay here. I don't fucking know. And I've broken Twitter. I honestly, I, how? How have I done this? <laughs> Sorry, we couldn't find any results. But what? There were just results. 
There are results. I, I know there are results. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, okay, we got a question from Tyler. I collect coffee mugs, and where the f*** is my code bullet mug? Also, nice facelift. Okay, so this is just the, basically the merchandise question. Like, am I going to get code bullet merch anytime soon? The answer is probably not. Not because of any ethical reasons, like, like I don't want to exploit you guys, or I don't want your money, or that sort of shit. That's not the case at all. It's basically, and you're probably noticing a theme with my personality, is I can't be f***. I could probably answer most of these questions, and the answer would be I can't be f***. So yeah, it just seems like too much effort. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day. Okay, next question. What are your thoughts on online resources available for learning coding compared to going to college? I'm thinking about saving money and dropping out to take online courses slash certifications. Um, well, I haven't done any online courses, but I guess it really depends on what type of person you are. If you're like a very self-motivated type of person and don't need somebody to like sit you down and say, you're fucking learning this, um, which is basically what university does. And I, I kind of need that. Um, I need somebody to be like, hey, dude, this is what you need to learn. Even if it's batshit boring, you're gonna need to learn it. Otherwise you're gonna fail and not get a degree. I need that. If you don't need that, then that's, uh, that's fine. What university does really well is it it makes you learn the fundamentals, which mightn't be all that interesting to you. Like if I was doing it myself, I wouldn't learn any of the fundamentals. I'd just go straight to the really cool shit, like like the, the AI, the coding games, all the cool shit, the stuff I'm passionate about. But you do need to learn the fundamentals. So I am grateful for that. I'm not sure. I've never had a proper job in my life, apart from I was a dish pig at a fucking Indian restaurant. Apart from that, I, I don't know what employers think about online courses and certifications and stuff because they might not value them as much as they do actual university degrees. So I would check into that before committing. How the heck do you sound so excited all the time and yet seem on the brink of tears? Uh, to answer this, Nathaniel, no, to answer this, <laughs> To, to answer this, uh, cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> is obtaining deep knowledge of science and arts. Oh, thank you. Worth being a miserable heap of fucking sorrow and shit. Ah, okay, well that, yeah, okay, that was a bit backhanded. Um, no, no it isn't. Okay, now that I've answered about 2% of the questions you guys sent me, let's move on to shouting out some channels, which I enjoy, and I think you will too. The first one I want to talk about is called Think Matrix. Wait, wait, it's thin? Oh, I f***ed this up already. Okay, the, the guy who runs Thin Matrix has been making a game for the past three years. Every week or so, he puts out like a devlog, which updates you on his progress. It's pretty sick. I've actually played his game. It's available on Steam. And I guess the best way I could describe his channel and game is just zen as f***. He's pretty much the opposite of me in terms of coders. He's calm, in control, and somehow he's desk is never covered in coffee cups and empty Dorito packets. Anyway, next coding channel, we got, um, Hobson. Is that, I pronounced that right? I got that. It's actually Hobson. This guy's been making videos for years and he was actually one of the people who inspired me to actually go into coding. He does similar shit to me. He just basically does random coding projects and talking about his project and stuff. He's done some really impressive stuff. My favorite is when he coded Minecraft in a week, which is ridiculous um he hasn't uploaded in a while which is sad so i hope it comes back to us but yeah it definitely deserves more subs so go check him out so next channel we've got is my man jabrils he's been recently fucking around with some drones and stuff which is really cool because i have no fucking idea how to do any of that stuff so that always really impresses me but nah yeah he's got some good shit on his channel um it's always fun yeah just go check him out okay who the fuck's next uh, we got Code Parade. Yeah, um, this guy just shot up in popularity recently. Um, and as he should, he's got some videos which are pretty similar to Carrie's videos. Who, if you don't know him, I'll talk about him in a sec. Uh, but yeah, and similar to Thin Matrix, he's also made a game. Um, and the cool thing about his game is it's free. Look at you, Thin Matrix. Look at you. Yeah, anyway, um, so what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so, um, his game's called Marble Runner, I think. I actually, I actually don't know. I did bugger all research for this. Hold up, um, okay, I looked it up. It's Marble Marcher, which is close enough. This game's a pretty simple concept, but what makes it really dope is that it's played on a fractal, which can even change while you're playing. He's made a bunch of videos which explain it way better than I ever could, so just check it out. Um, I mentioned Carrie, um, Carrie KH. So let's talk about Carrie KH. Although he's hardly a small channel, um, he does a bunch of videos about AI, and just coding in general. And they're all really good and well-made and shit. He actually animates his avatar like a loser. Everyone knows still images are way cooler. And who said I couldn't animate myself anyway? You ready for this? I can even f***ing spin. See, ball's in your court now, Carrie. F***ing quality content. 
All right. Um. Anyway, sorry. Um. He does a bu- <laughs> These are really shit shout outs. I'm sorry. Just insulting most of them. Um. He just does like a bunch of random fancy shit with neural networks and stuff. It's good shit. It's good check. Check him out. Yeah. Okay. So I've actually got a massive list here. Um. So let's start powering through some channels which really don't need shout outs. But I like them anyway. I already mentioned Coding Chain. It's good shit. There's three brown, one blue. Kind of mathy. So if you're not into that, then fair enough. But that's good shit. Also, there's Seth Bling, whose Ma I.O. video was more or less the inspiration for this entire channel. Um, yeah, so that's obviously good shit. We got William Osman, who builds stuff that sometimes works. That's good shit. We can't talk about William without mentioning his new roommate. Michael Reeves, who builds stuff that rarely works. <laughs> That's good shit. Sorry, not a very original joke, I know, but I enjoyed it. Um, anyway, we got Sa Simone Gear. We got Simone Geertz. Geertz. Wait a second. Let me do some more research. Please welcome Simone Yet. Simone, thanks so much for being here. How did that not help? Yeah. Simone Yeah. I can't even make that sound. Simone Yeah. Um, yeah, Simone Yeah. <laughs> That's shit with like robots and. Other stuff. It's good shit. Just check it out. Check it out. Also, if you're into coding and want some tutorials about Python and machine learning and stuff, Sentdex is your man and it's good shit. Uh, we got Siraj Raval who does cringy AI music videos and that's good shit. Make the data lit. Make the data lit. And yeah, um, that's pretty much everyone who I could think of. If you didn't make this list, then that means I hate you. And if you could be as butthurt as possible, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, okay. Fucking Q&A done. Nailed it. Nailed it. And an answer to no one's question is yes, I am back at uni. And yes, that means I can't do as much content as I did when I was on break. What, what, what's that? I hardly uploaded even when I was on break. Yeah, well, first of all, f you. Second of all, I do what I want. So just be patient. Just be patient. Some more quality content will be coming your way soon. It'll be great. It'll have spins and stuff. It'll be good shit. Um, yeah. Anyway, see you around. Let me show you my friend. This guy's the free. This is spin. Make the data lit, make the data lit, make the data, make the data lit, make the data lit, learn from